Okay, down here. Well, I'm going to try cooking something. <clears throat> if I can get it in front of the camera. Got a little classic hot dog on a piece of bread. Now I figure, since the microwave will cook that uh, food no matter where it sets, put the hot dog on the top bottom and the bread on top so that it can be, uh, you know, toasted a little bit. Of course, the trick is to warm up the hot dog without ruining the bread or the other way around. So let's try, I think I'll try a minute, <clears throat> probably not long enough, but that'd be plenty for the hot dog. Well, but it's going to be split between broil and maybe a minute and a half. Split between, I'll do a minute, I'll, do, I'll set a minute, set a minute and a half, because if I do two minutes, I don't can't tell by looking at it, you know, you can't even go off and tell till you open the door, so yeah, a minute and a half. <clears throat> And let me get my hot gloves. Didn't really toast the bread, but uh, the hot dogs not ruined. The bread don't seem ruined either, so that's why I'm going to stop. <clears throat> now, you can't have a hot dog without something to go with it, so I've got my mustard and my sweet relish, honey mustard, of course, and some stuff that we had already got at the deli, some apple salad and broccoli salad or something. So, uh... <coughs> <clears throat> Let's see what this stuff turns out to be like. I don't think the hot dog will be anything any different than normal. normal. But I don't believe it made the bread into rubber. I think I caught it. it cooked the right amount of time. But yeah, I think you're talking about a pretty tricky thing. <clears throat> getting Being able to cook you know, meat and bread together and get the bread to be toasty. But uh, that was uh, the second setting, which is 35% of the time is microwave, 65% was the broiler. <coughs> so, yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to do the other one. I'm glad I did that one. Make sure I'm still recording. <coughs> Okay, 
I try to make it so you can't see my belly. So I don't know how to get her to learn that. But uh, they want to go into too many, too much trouble. But I had to at least put some relish and mustard on there to eat that hot dog. Oops, too much. And I realized, hey, I'm actually kind of hungry, so I might as well eat something. Can't see me licking my fingers, can you? <coughs> I didn't. I really didn't. Okay, here we go. Hot dog is not really you know cook cook, but it's warm up. It's hot about that time. The bread is cool in the inside. Top side is not bad. Didn't turn it into rubber at least. Um, hot dog could only stand just a hair longer. As far as feeling more cooked. I think I'll put it in there on just broil, just like that. Get the cool side of the bread up. Yeah, my plate's cooled down now. It didn't get, it didn't have enough time in there to get hot. Okay, so I can't show this without moving the camera around, but you've seen it before. So. Three, thirty seconds. People kept saying this thing was hard to figure out how to run. It's really simple. If you just you, you just hit the number of the minutes you want or seconds and then hit the start. No matter what mode you're in. And if you just want to hurry up and get the microwave going and hit that quick start, that'll give you 30 seconds. Keep hitting it, it keeps adding 30 more seconds. And that's boil only. So, uh, you know, we're kind of warming them up more evenly now. You know, you can really ruin a hot dog or you can ruin bread quicker than anything in the microwave. You can ruin a hot dog, too. Trying to see if that plate was too hot to pick up. I don't want to risk it. I'll probably get it out half out of there and drop it. One thing I'm not used to, you know, microwave cooking, is um, really usually having to worry too much about the plate being hot. It really hasn't had a chance to super heat. You know, these plates will hold heat for a long time once they get heated up. That's a, uh, I think it's even Pyrex, but I can't think of the right word. You know what it is. You can tell. It's a, it's a little belly. It's ceramic. The hot dog is really not done enough. That was uh, actually ended up being a minute more with just the broiler. Okay, why not? That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here for is to learn. Put it back in. Let's see. Which one got the most broiling time? I've already forgot. Okay, uh, number two is 35% microwave, 65% broil. That's what I want. More broil. 
Um, I think it'll go too long. 30 seconds again. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Well, you can change it after you put your minutes in if you forget. You change what? Broil what broil mode you want. I'm actually hungry. Eat this stuff. I was still going wet. Oh! Here you go. Now it's cooking the hot dog. Of course, there's only about half a hot dog left now. Too hot to eat now, but that's the last time I'm gonna put it in there. Cause uh, yeah, you know, once you've got your bread microwave once, you're probably gonna want to do it again. I said I'll just um kept doing the broil. We made the bread get all moist again instead of toasty. So, you have to do a lot of learning. It's different than microwaving. Now our bread is... Crust is getting a little tough and chewy. So I wouldn't microwave that bread any longer than... I did a minute, 30, well, I was doing a minute 30 seconds, but only 35% of that time was, was microwaving. I'm around 30 seconds of, of microwaving and a minute of broiling the first time. And that's all the microwaving the bread could stand. And you know, if you've done it this way, you can, you can moisten up bread. If it was in the refrigerator, it wouldn't be any good like that, you know. You can moisten it up in the microwave if you don't do it too long. But I like my bread toasted a little bit. Or if I had buns, you know, or whatever. It's, it's all good flavor, though. It's not ruined. I think I'm going to have another hot dog. Now, but how long am I going to cook it? What I would like is 30 seconds of microwave and the rest broil. So, I guess I would go to that microwave for 30 seconds and then do broil all by itself until it gets toasty. <coughs> Try that. Purposely only got the plate because I didn't want you watch me step and slip in my face. <coughs> but I guess I'll stop the video as soon as I get this bite down. Because there's no point in me just making a video of the plate while I'm going to get the, another hot dog. And I guess I'll come back and show the results. Alright, do that.